What's up, y'all? It's your boy Raj here with Proceed with Cost of Blog. And today I am doing a review of the new Evangel album, Elation Foundation. Excuse me, I got some gum on my mouth. Somebody might criticize me for chewing gum on camera. Excuse me. Now, this is Evangel's second album. The first album, I'm gonna be honest. I liked it lyrically, but his beat selection was not very good. Too many subpar beats, so it had very little replay value. Now, people on here online, some of them went crazy over that. I got different takes. This album, a little bit different. So, I'm going to give you my thoughts, both positive and negative. Now, from the positive, his beat selection is much better. A lot of East Coast real hip hop beats for the majority, as well as some stuff that's out of the box for him, but it works. And sometimes when you go out the box, it works, sometimes it don't. This time it does work. Some examples of songs that went out the box is a song called Elation, has sort of like an adventurous type of fast beat. Some maybe like something Slim Shady will rap over in like a real fun type beat. So that's the vibe it gives off. I like that. Then there's another song called, uh, what is that song? It is. I know you anticipate, but I'm actually forgot. What is the name of this song? Pure Heart. Pure at Heart. That's another song that is out of the box. Does not sound like a beat he will rap over, but it's more of a, maybe some maybe hip hop is music will make a beat like that. But it's not really an underground East Coast beat, but it works. So I like that. Another thing I like about this album is mood wise. Like you will have certain subject matter and then the music fits the mood of the lyrics. So I'll give you an example. There's a song on here called Savings and Moans. And the guitar on here, man, it sounds like it's actually crying. Like it's actually moaning and crying. So it fits the mood of the song. Uh, there's another song on here. Let me see if this is it. Yeah. HR Department. And HR department is more of a keep pressing on. And you can just feel like it's like a warrior song, like uplifting type of song. So the music fits the mood of the song. I like that as well. Now, the whole premise of an album is Matthew Chapter 5, which contains the Beatitudes. And he attacks it, not attacks it, but talks about it from different angles. Some angles he might take a subject matter or take a line from the Beatitudes and then take the scriptures and give like an overall view of what the scriptures say on that subject of the Beatitudes. So, for example, Savings and Moans is about mourning for sin. So he talks, well, that's what he argues is about mourning for sin. So he takes what the scripture says about mourning for sin and build upon that. What, and um, Going with that song, what's very interesting is I never really thought about like Okay, blessed are those who mourn, they'll be comforted. You know what, I've always thought, like, okay, somebody died or, you know what I'm saying, somebody's sick and you're going through a wrong time and you mourn, God will comfort you. But he's, he's arguing that he's talking more about mourning for sin, which is interesting. So that is how he goes at some songs. Some songs is more of a parable, like Mercy Mutual. He takes more of the, the parable of um, of the unmerciful servant and makes a rap out of that. So it's different aspects, different angles of how he raps about the subject matter. Now, <clears throat> things I were not I was not feeling mainly some of the hooks. Now I like it best when he does the hooks. I mean, he he makes some decent hooks. Listen, you know, so I can repeat the hooks. It's decent, it's straight. But some of the hooks, man, I cannot get with. Perfect example is a song called Bankruptcy Department. And I'm going to play a little bit of this song, man. 
Hold on for a bit. Kobe, Ooh, that dude, man, sucks, and I'm out.